So, as the title says, Conor McGregor's rape case starts today. Conor McGregor, up for rape. Do you know, in the old days, rape used to be quite visible. Bruised batteries, woman dragged in a bush. These days, because of a matriarchal society, we're letting women... I'm not saying all women, I'm just saying there's women that go back to places with men, hotels scantily dressed you know sometimes even wearing a pair of knickers and fishnet stockings as you can imagine and these women are crying rape you know not every man that stands trial is guilty of rape you know just people will think oh conor mcgregor yeah he did it and he's got money and he'll get away with it you know but there's men that haven't got his money that are of conor mcgregor's persuasion similar to myself red-blooded man yeah red-blooded man takes a beautiful lady back to the hotel his intentions are having sex obviously because you know why else would he take her back to a hotel and the fact that she's going to take him to court now for rape and that and then many men are convicted i mean um you know i can't as uh as danny christie once said to me jimmy no means no don't you know that? Yeah, obviously, but I don't know. There's a lot going, there's a lot that goes on that we don't know and that you can't see. And when when a woman's in court crying in the dock, you know, will Conor McGregor get charged for this? And if he did, you know, people would still be wanting photographs. The BKFC would still be happy to have him as a poster boy, you know, because he's Conor McGregor. Well, what about Darren Hendry? I mean, when he's released, will he still be allowed to fight for the BKFC? Because I thought the shadow boxer couldn't fight for the BKFC because of his conviction. Yeah, it could be that one of the owners of the BKFC has the same conviction. Well, he's definitely in court for that. And one of the fighters who fought for the belt, Darren Hendry... He's also been convicted. And I know, I like, I've met all these men in question. They're all my kind of men, you know what I mean? They're all like, we're all red-blooded men at the end of the day. That's what the whole fighting sport's about, really. But there are, there is a nation of cucks, of matriarchs, and society has got it wrong. You know, that, that rape should be trialled for people that are legitimate beast rapists. And not guys that just, you know, have taken a girl back to a hotel or gone back to their place. And then, who knows? Look, ask Connor, you know, like, Connor, if you're watching this video, this is your opportunity in the comment section. Tell us what happened. I mean, it's going to be interesting what comes out in court. But one thing's for sure is that something is wrong with the men that I know. For certain. I mean, how is it that I know three rapists? How many rapists do you know? Actually, I know three, well, potentially three convicted rapists. They're all involved in the bare knuckle sport. Could be loads more. Don't you see the pattern here? Maybe they're not rapists. Maybe the matriarch society is making them rapists. They're just red-blooded males. You know, they're just thinking with their penises and bringing girls to hotels for, for sex. They can't help it. They're red-blooded males. I like to think that, you know, the red-blooded red -blooded males will can continue because we need more red-blooded males. Because the way I'm seeing it, you know, if it carries on going the way it is, in this matriarchal cuck society, the, the only way to have babies in the future will be artificial insemination. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. It might be the safer way. Damn, bro. Who's next? I mean, any one of your BKFC fighters watching this, you could be next. McGregor? Flaherty? Hendry? Who's next? Not me. I'm on the semen retention. 
They say I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Please, put what you think in the comments section below, okay?